Hey y'all, and thanks for stopping by Design by Kathy. Uh, today we're gonna do a 12 by 12 Arteza canvas, and I'm gonna be using the Arteza Metallics paints. I'm gonna do, a, do this dirty pour as a flip cup, and we'll see where it goes, so stay tuned. These are the colors, the, Ar the Arteza colors that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is Pearl Hot Pink, and I have Cactus Green, and Sky Blue, and White. This is the only one that's not metallic. The other ones are all the Arteza metallics. As you can see, they come in these little tubes. They are very, very concentrated. Therefore, um, it takes way less paint to, to do your, make your mixture, and I am using uh, Liquitex today. So it takes way less paint, so it's, you're gonna add, you need more medium uh, with each of these. They've turned out, I think they look really pretty, and I can't wait to see what they look like on the canvas. So, let's get right to pouring. So I've got my mixture ready. These are 10 ounce cups. So I probably got a little between six, about six ounces maybe in here, probably. Six ounces of my Liquitex and each of the paints. So I'm just gonna, like I said, do this one as a flip. And carefully. Oh, these are pretty. The pearl, the really gorgeous pearl look to them. I really like that. I like metallics. I did not use all four colors metallic because I thought, you know, I like the, you know, also the, to get the contrast of the paint without the metallic that the white, just regular white would help. These are gorgeous colors. This is almost giving you like a, a marble, a marble look. Now, one thing I will say, and I, cause I just realized what I did, I thought that I had stirred them very, very well. Because of the concentration, I don't know if this is showing up for you, but I've got some little spots here that just, I didn't get them stirred well enough. That's no, no, we're just gonna squish them out in there and let them blend as they will. Now I wanna add just a little more uh, character. I think this just looks gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, it's very mar marbled look effect to me. Uh, but anyway, now I wanna get a string, get my string. And I love to add a little bit, you know, a little bit more with the string, just a little bit of uh, addition to my project. Just gonna pull it straight down through the center. I'm using the hot pink color that we have in the in the painting.
I'm just using some some regular cotton cotton string. And I'm going to do a couple of little, little short, little tiny ones, oops, over here on the sides, just little small, small ones. You want to make sure that your entire string is covered. And you just simply lay back and forth. Now, while, while most of my brain is telling me to stop, leave it alone, I thought it would be cool to see if there, what would happen if we tried to do a little bit of green, add some greenery to what we've got going on here. So, I've got little tiny short pieces of the cotton string. I'm just gonna come in and lay it along the stem and then I just wanna pull it back down like so. This is the length, I got these little tiny, tiny strings. And I'm gonna lay it across with the, the would-be stem. And then just pull it straight down.
and I'm going to stop right here. Let me turn this. Uh, hoping there's not too huge of a glare. Uh, that just turned out so incredibly cool. I am so tickled, I think. I can't wait to see when it's dry. Uh, see how the metallics pop. Uh, they look gorgeous right now. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your comments, your likes and shares, and I appreciate you subscribers so much. And hey, if you're just popping by, I hope that you'll subscribe as well. And don't forget to click on the bell so you'll know every time that Designed by Kathy comes out with a new video. You all have a great day.